Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Shalom. The Lord bless you. My name is AOC. Welcome to this channel, Atmosphere of Prophecy, Word and Prayer. If you are new here, welcome. In this channel, we talk about God's Word. We give you prophetic vocabulary, what the Lord is saying at every season. And we have one-on-one -on -one prophecies and prayers that the hand of the Lord is so great. Thank you so much for stopping by. And those that have always subscribed to you, God bless you so much. I have this strong word and is boiling in my spirit. I received this word um, after a night session and I lie down on the bed and the Holy Spirit was bringing this so much in my spirit. I couldn't stop. I tried to resist it, but there was no way. I'm going to just pray first before I tell you this word. Father, I pray that you open the heart of this uh, my friend brother in Christ or sister in Christ, that this word will come in. We plead the blood of Jesus over this word. And I pray that they receive it with joy in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, this is what the Lord told me. The Lord told me it's a season of world transfer. It's a season of world transfer. The Lord says the world of the wicked is coming to the church. All their labor, all this, the Lord is, is a season of world transfer. Now, the Lord took me in, in a sharp vision, and I started seeing people gathering. I saw revival that is coming. It seems Christians were going out, doing amazing things. They were out there, and I was like, God, where is this coming from? How did these people get this money? Because I know how we're struggling, and how did they get here? And the Lord said to me, I'm taking the wealth of the wicked and I'm bringing it into my body. The body of Christ needed more because there are lost souls and there are many people that they are actually giving their, uh, they are handing their lives to the devil because of money. He says, but I'm going to transfer this world to the church because the church has what it takes to do the right thing with this world. See, even those that are up there that are unholy, God is going to do something and we shake off their foundation because the world of the wicked is being transferred to the church. God says they are going to use it for four purposes. Number one, they'll use it for kingdom expansion. Number two, they'll use it so that the money that will come into the church, it will be a, 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 a weapon. It will be a mouthpiece of the less privileged. They'll use it to help those that are poor, and those that don't have a voice, it will be a voice. That is the exact word I got. A voice to the less privileged. Those that cannot speak for themselves. The world that will come to the body of Christ will be for them. The third thing that they're going to use it, it says they're going to use it to beautify my house. The house of the Lord has to be in standard. The house of the Lord has to be in, in that classic as the Lord is in heaven. And the fourth thing that they're going to use it, it says the world that will come to the church will draw men to come to his house. God is going to bless believers this season so much that men will be desiring to come to church. They will not come first to even look for money. They will, come, they will not come to look for God. They will come because of the way God is prospering the people of God. And they were like, we just want to come and see what is going on. We want to know how you people are doing this. How, how it, it's happening there. Because when they see that, and the time they come in the house of the Lord, the Lord will have rested. So I needed to get ready. I needed to prepare your heart. I needed to know that something supernatural is about to happen. And amazingly, God says, this is going to come to those that are committed. This is going to come to those that have been giving, those that have been sowing, those that have been diligent in sharing the gospel financially. This is going to come to those that have been laboring for years. So if you're a Christian and you've been in church for years and you feel like God has abandoned you, there's wealth transfer coming. If you have been sowing and sowing and you're not seeing anything, you're not reaping, wealth transfer is coming. And if you have been laboring for the Lord, you have been going to places, preaching the gospel, and people are mocking at you at the state in which things are, the Lord says there's a wealth transfer. The money of the wicked is coming to you. God himself is stripping them off from their source and their strength and is bringing it to you. People that are abused, using money to abuse people, using money to, 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 to you know, destroy destinies. God says, I will seize it from them. They will become poor and I'll bring it to my house because this is the right place that it's supposed to be. There is about to be a mind-blowing world transfer. My prayer for you is that you will be 
in the position to receive what the Lord has. You will not miss it, but God will find you, or you found favor before the Lord to be among these people that the Lord has chosen to carry word. Your season has come. May God bless you. May God bless you with increase on every side. Get ready. Get ready. I saw this so clear. And it's coming to pass speedily. It's happening already. Get ready. People will be so jealous of you. How you became rich overnight. People will be so jealous of you. People will be asking you, I need to, what happened? Tell them, come to church. They will want to come to see what is going on. The kind of structures pastors should be building. The kind of businesses believers will be establishing. It's going to marvel the world. Get ready. You will be found among those people that the Lord has promised in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, if you have not subscribed to this channel and you want to be a part of this family, consider subscribing. This is a decision that will change your life and you will never regret it. I love you and I'll see you again. Shalom.